Today we will learn about plant kingdom. Plant kingdom means the natural surroundings where plants live and grow. Plants grow almost everywhere on the earth. We can see plants in the plains, hills, desert and also in and under the water. Here we see the trees are of different shapes. Some are round like a ball, some oval, some like ice cream cones. Why trees which grow in the different places look so different? Because the plants make some changes to survive in the different surroundings. As some places get heavy rains, some get average and some hardly get any. Some places are very hot while some are very cold. Ooh. Soil of different places is also different. Some places have dry and sandy soil while others have clay or muddy soil. Some trees grow in cold and hilly regions. In fact, in some of these places, there is snowfall also. Trees in these places have sloping shape so that snow falls off easily from them. They have tough needle like leaves that can survive in the cold and snow. Instead of flowers, they have cones, therefore they are called conifers. Oh, that's why on the hill that tree name was Mr. Conifer. He did show me his pointed needle-like leaves. Trees that grow in the plains have woody stem, flat and broad leaves. They have shape like an umbrella. Yes, yes, that banyan tree was like this, with flat and broad leaves and thick branches too. The desert climate is hot and dry, so only few plants are found there. How do plants survive there? There is hardly any rainfall in the desert. Desert plants have fleshy stem to store the water. Their leaves are like thorns to prevent the water loss. Their roots are spread far out in search of water and quickly catch even a small amount of water. So true. I only saw few plants there. Mr. Cactus also had the leaves like thorns. Let us see the plants of the marshlands. They are so different. Why the roots come out of the soil? Marshes have clay soil which holds a lot of water. Therefore, air cannot enter in the soil. The roots of these trees cannot breathe in the marshes. So, they have special respiratory roots above the ground to breathe. Do you know what is so special about our country's national flower, lotus? Yes. It is definitely beautiful. It is also a water plant. It grows in the water only. Similarly, some other plants grow in the water only. They are called aquatic plants. These may grow in the rivers, lakes or ponds and even in the sea. The roots of some water plants like lotus and water lilies are fixed in the mud at the bottom of the pond. Big, thin leaves float over the surface of water. Do you wonder why they do not break when the water current is so strong? Stems of these plants are very flexible, so they can bend with the flow of water and don't get damaged by strong currents. Now I know that little plant was an aquatic plant. Yes, it had flat thin leaves. Have you ever seen some plants floating in the pond or river? Plants like duckweed and water hyacinth can float freely. They have spongy bodies with air filled in them. 
and make plants light enough to float. These are called as floating plants. Some plants grow completely under the water. These plants are called submerged plants. Their leaves are narrow and thin without the stomata. They give out oxygen into the water which is used by the fishes for breathing. The natural environment or surrounding where a plant lives is called its habitat. So we saw water plants are called aquatic plants, floating plants, fixed plants and submerged water plants are the three kinds of aquatic plants. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. Some land trees like oak, mulberry, maple, birk shed their leaves in winters to protect themselves from cold. They are called deciduous trees. Plants like pine, spruce and fir keep their leaves throughout the year. They are called evergreen trees. Believe it or not, there are some plants that eat insects too, like the pitcher plant or the Venus flytrap. Why do they eat insects? The soil where they grow is deficient in minerals, so these plants trap insects to fulfill the requirement of minerals. According to their habitat, we can divide plants in two groups, terrestrial or land plants, aquatic or water plants. Terrestrial plants are either evergreen plants or deciduous plants. Aquatic plants can be divided into three groups. 1. Fixed water plants. 2. Free floating plants. And 3. Submerged or underwater plants. We saw plants make a lot of changes to adapt themselves to the different climatic conditions, soil types, rainfall, temperature and the habitat. This process of making changes in themselves to adjust to their surroundings or habitat by the plants is called as adaptation. We humans should not disturb them and their habitats knowingly or unknowingly. By doing this, we only will suffer. Save trees, plant more trees and protect our environment.